All right, the next topic we're going to talk about is practicing items that have what I call a low transferability. Okay? So first let's talk about what the, the term means, and then we'll talk about how to deal with it. Okay? An item has a low transferability when it is so unique that the skills involved to practice or to play the item don't translate really into much anything else. Okay? So tapping, which is a very cool technique, that has a very, very low level of transferability. Meaning if you spend an hour today practicing your tapping, you'll improve in your tapping, which is great, but there aren't really any other benefits to that. Maybe a little bit with the legato and the left hand that might be required to play along with it. Okay? But certainly it's not going to help your picking hand at all. Right? So zero benefit there. Right? So that's an example where the transferability is low. Okay? A technique where the transferability would be high would be something like string skipping. Even if you don't use string skipping very often in your playing, the, tech, the, the skills required to perform string skipping are, are have vast implications for your technique overall. Okay, so if you practice string skipping for an hour and you don't ever do string skipping, you're in, in real life playing, you would still become much better overall with your picking and your two-hand synchronization because you, you, you're doing so much, the, the work required to, to perform that is so great that your normal picking and two-hand synchronization will benefit from it a lot. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, so those are two examples of opposite extremes, tapping and string skipping. And pretty much everything else falls somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. Okay. Now, I don't mean to imply that you should never practice tapping only because it helps your tapping finger and does nothing for your picking and maybe helps your legato playing only a little bit. I don't mean to imply that. What I'm trying to say is that you should just simply be aware that some items have a high degree of transferability, that the skill set required that you're, that you're improving on will filter into other areas, will trickle down into other aspects of your playing. Okay? You can practice those low transferability items, but if you have an hour to practice, don't spend all day doing tapping. Because what happens? It's like you didn't practice at all as far as your picking hand is concerned. Okay? What happens when you don't practice for a day? Are you better the same or worse the next day? Typically, slightly worse, right? Because you didn't there was no training being done, zero. All right? So, you can work on that stuff, but you've also got to be doing something that's going to keep your foundational skills up. It doesn't have to be string skipping, but it has to be something, you know, picking something that, that, that something that contains serious picking involved. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay? All right. So items that have a low transferability, don't exclusively practice those in, 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 in phases. You want to have other items throughout your day that have a high degree of transferability also. And then you can mix you can mix them together, but just be careful with exclusively getting into those tapping phases or something else where the transferability is very low.